Ungano wa azimio la umoja sasa una siku tatu pekee kabla ya kukamilika kwa muda uliowekwa wa kufika katika mahakama ya juu kupinga matokeo ya uchaguzi wa urais. Akizungumza huko Kirinyaga mgombea mwenza wa Raila Odinga Martha Karua amesema wanajiandaa kuelekea mahakamani huku akimtaka rais mteule William Ruto kuwa mtulivu na kusubiri matukio ya kikatiba. Steven Leto na taarifa hiyo. Huku siku zikizidi kuyoyoma muungano wa azimio unasisitiza kuwa utafika katika mahakama ya upeo ukiwa na nia ya kutaka matokeo ya uchaguzi wa urais kubatilishwa Mata Karua ambaye kwanza alihudhuria mazishi ya marehemu Grace Wambue Njoka katika kijiji cha Kianderi eneo bunge la Kirinyaga ya Kati amesema kuwa sasa muungano wa azimio uko tayari kufika mahakamani lazima tupate haki na haki ikiamuliwa na koti hiyo ni ya mwisho hata kama hukubali kwa roho yako lazima tutulie na tukubali uamuzi wa mwisho wa koti mumeamua lakini koti itaamua kama mahesabu imeingiana au ni mahesabu ya bandia Barua amemwelekezea vijembe rais mteule William Ruto kwa kusema ameanza kutumia mamlaka kuvuruga sheria ya vyama vya kisiasa. The presumptive winner of a presidential race even though declared is never sworn in until either the time for filing a petition is over and no petition is filed or a petition is filed and determined first. Those who may remember Uhuru Kenyatta was not sworn in until after the petition in 2013 and even in 2017 and after the petition there was a repeat election Karua ambaye baadaye alifanya mikutano na wajumbe wa azimio katika kaunti ya Kirinyaga amesema bado kuna muda uliosalia wa kufika katika mahakama ya upeo na kumtaka Ruto kuwa mtulivu So it is premature for somebody to start trying to disorganize political parties illegally and lawfully and i would urge that kenyans and members concerned be warned and i would urge the deputy president of an outgoing government to acquaint himself with the laws of the land or ask his advisers for better advice katibu wa chama cha jubilee jeremiah kioni amesema muungano wa azimio unaendelea kujipanga kwa kuweka pamoja ushahidi wa kutosha kuhusu uchaguzi wa urais the kind of rigging we saw on the 9th of august and their laughter in the counting of uh, the presidential ballots if that rigging is not addressed by our courts of law it makes nonsense to go into any elections in future in this country Muungano wa Azimio umetilia shaka kile umetaja kama kutofuata sheria kwa mwenye kitu wa IBC wa Fula Chebukati alipotangaza matokeo ya uchaguzi aliyopingwa na makamishana wanne wa tume hiyo Azimio aidha inadai kuwa kulikuwa na udanganyifu katika baadhi ya fomu za matokeo zilizowekwa kwenye tovuti ya IBC Steven Letoro Ninga ya Citizen